Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you odd, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Reviewed the 32 billion final straw that led to the Abdullahi Adamu was asked to resign as the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, on Sunday after a prolonged Cold War with the president, Bola Tinubu. The APC chairman was advised to throw in the by Opusodema, the governor of Imo State and chairman of a progressive governor's forum. Iyola Omishori, the APC national secretary, allegedly became incommunicado upon getting wind of the development. Party sources told Newsroom that Adamu and Omishori were to face a vote of no confidence by NWC members on Monday afternoon, following which they would be sacked by the National Executive Committee, NEC, chaired by Tinubu on Wednesday. There has been a cold war between Tinubu and Adamu since the former governor of Nasarawa State was elected party chairman in March 2022. But the final straw, according to insiders, was Adamu's failure to account for the 32 billion naira raised by the party from the sale of farms for the 2023 general election. Only 7 billion is left in the account as we speak, an NWC member told the cable. Adamu and Omishori claim the account has been audited, but we are not aware of when the auditors were appointed. How can NWC not be aware of the appointment? It is part of our responsibilities to appoint auditors. Before the 32 billion naira question became a bone of contention, Adamo's exit appeared imminent. While Tinubu supported Tanko L. Makura, also a former governor of Nasara State, for the position of national chairman, Party leaders loyal to former President Muhammad Obohari rooted for Adamu. This was thought to be the first move to stop Tinubu from winning the party's presidential ticket. Ahead of the APC presidential primary in June 2022, Tinubu complained bitterly that he was being betrayed despite the fact that a gentleman's agreement was sealed in 2015 for him to succeed Buhari. Sensing the move to remove him, Adamu had reportedly sought the support of the chairman of the state chapters of the party, but received a cold shoulder. By the APC constitution, the proceeds were supposed to be shared with the zonal, state and ward levels of a party and they were not in the know, so there was no way they were going to support him. Another party insider told the cable, you are, what do you think about this? Olegbe, Olegba, that is, thief collect him, <laughs> thief take him back. The money in the first place that these governors, you know, used to buy this form, was it not 100 million naira that they were asked to, you know, pay for forms? The money was stolen, was taken from states, uh force you know the money was gotten through uh corruption through stealing so why not adamu steal the money back <laughs> you guys this is funny and it's not funny at the same time before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online olushola ologunde says well stealing apart Adamu is not fit to be chairman of leading party because of his wartime disregard to neutrality. If it were not his gullible tendency to steal, 
he should have long resigned his office immediately after the election for someone who is physically on LSD, just a little as 5 million naira would have cured him of his diabetes and still sustain him for the rest of his life because he would be on special diet day after. Why stealing so much for himself? Hmm. Thieves are usually greedy, don't you know? Anyway, Bright Adebayo says, after milking Nasarawa State as governor, he went to the Senate from there to become APC chair. They are, they are never satisfied. <laughs> Another person by the name Joseph says, You never see our northern brothers condemn this heinous and despicable act. APC is a doom. Michael Afolayo says, That's the result of being partisan. As the national chairman of a party, he's supposed to be neutral to all candidates irrespective of where they came from. Why on earth would a responsible leader, who is supposed to be impartial, decide to openly support a candidate against others? Face it, this serve as a bitter lesson for others, of course. Abisua Joshua says, hmm. But these people should know that they brought nothing to this world and they will go back with without anything then what are they doing with all this money see poverty everywhere see almanjeris all over the country i rest my case hmm. lastly abiola ibrahim says if president Tinubu has not been a financial pillar with strong foundation People like Adamu Lawan Itusi would have pulled Tinobo out of APC totally before now without reaping the benefits of his labor in the APC party in Nigeria. Nigeria would have lost a guiding democratic light for the 21st century, thereby returning Nigeria to the dark ages. You guys, what do you think about all of this? Subscribe, guys, if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.